searching for making the exists method procedurally in C Sharp. This is Daniel and you are going to get coded. Here I have Visual Studio opened and let's create a simple console application again. So file, new project and under Visual C Sharp, uh, Windows Desktop, console app and we will name this project exists and hit OK. While this is loading, I have here a link opened with the exists. You can find the link down below. So we can check to see if an item exists in an array based on a condition. So here you can see that we have a fruits array uh, and a variable, a local variable called exists. And this local variable is set to false. So the initial value is false. We assume that there is no such item inside the fruits array. So this is the starting point. And then we have a for loop. So we iterate with an i from the first position, 0, until the end of the array. And then we are um, incrementing the i. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3. And once we get 4, 4 is not less than, than fruits.length, which is 4. And we are going to exit the for loop. And we just print out exists. Okay, so let's try to see what it is inside the for loop. So we have an if statement. If the item fruits index i, if the current item that we are iterating over contains the letter L, then we have found it. We have found an item that um, satisfies this condition. And we are going to assign true to our exists local variable. And then we are going to break. The meaning of break here is to not continue on because it doesn't make sense. Once we find um, an item, for example, apple, apple contains L. We don't need to continue on the execution with all the other fruits. It doesn't make sense. It's not efficient. It's not performant. So we can just break it. And this uh, once is run uh, is going to exit the for loop. And we continue on with the console.write line. And we are going to write uh, to write to the console the, the value of exists, which in our case is true because we have at least one item that contains this letter, which is namely Apple. Okay, so let's see this in action. This is loaded, so Windows key right arrow, and let's try to put this here, and let's begin typing. So we need a fruit array, as I said, var fruits, new square brackets, and we have apple, we have cherry, and we need the uh, quotation marks, cherry, pineapple, and we need as well a plum. So four fruits in total. And then we need a local variable. So var exists. And this is going to be false. If you hover over var, you can see that it is uh, a Boolean value. Okay. And then we need a for loop. So for tab, tab, i, yes. And fruits.length. And then hit enter. We need an if statement. So if tab tab, the current item, so fruits i, this is this represents the current item that contains the letter L. If this is true, then we have found it. So exists true. We have found uh, we have uh, found at least one item that satisfies this condition. So we will assign true to exists and we are going to break the execution of for loop. So let's try to print out to the console uh, the exists variable, this one over here. And then we need to see what we print to the console. So console.readkey um, to keep the console opened. So let's try to press F5 and let's see the actual result. So yes, this is a little bit too small again. 36 and we have true because we have at least one item that satisfies or meets uh, this condition over here to have to contain at least um, the letter L and um, that was true. Also let's try to use uh, the debugging system in Visual Studio. I'm going to set a breakpoint and this breakpoint will stop the execution at this specific line 
the if over here. Also, I think I would rather stop the execution at 4 because I want to see how the I behaves. So let's try to put the breakpoint here and let's press and let's press F5. Okay. If you don't have this opened, go to uh, locales over here and let's try to expand fruits. So right now, fruits contains apple, cherry, pineapple, and plum. You can hover over fruits as well here and you can see all the items that are in the fruits array. And the I is zero and exists is set to false. So this is the value that exists has at the moment. So let's try to press F11 and the I is zero. The first element is apple. So we are trying to find if this contains the apple and we can see right now zero is apple. Does apple contains L and it was true. And let's try to see where I can find that true. No, nowhere. Okay, let's continue on. So this was true. It did contain uh, and the exist is false and let's try to press F11 and right now the exist is true. So this condition over here was true the first time. So the apple item over here contains obviously the, the letter L. So this turned to true because this was true. We got into the body of the if statement and we, um, we are running the statement inside the body of the if. Right now we are at break. If I press F11, this is going to exit the for loop. And indeed, this is what it did. Right now, the exist is set to true. And if I say F11 again, you can see that right now we have true printed to the console. And let's try F11, enter, enter, no, F11, okay. So we managed to see uh, the actual values with the debugger. Um, yes, yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. Just to summarize again, in order to see if an item exists um, or if we have an item with, which satisfies a condition, you need to use the exists, uh, you, you need to define an exist variable and you set it to false and then you iterate using a for loop and then you have an if statement. So in this if statement you put your condition, this can be anything. Uh, right now it contains letter L, I could have put R, Y or uh, that length is 3. So the item should have 3 characters, I mean any condition you would like here. If that condition is true, then we are going to say, well, we have at least one item. And again, you don't have to write this by yourself. Uh, you can see in this video over here that these methods are built in C Sharp. There is an uh, array that exists method in C Sharp which does the exact same thing and you don't have to write it by yourself. But this is again a good exercise to show you guys what it means to create uh, such a method uh, using um, uh, in procedural code. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. My goal right now is to have 1000 subscribers. So please help me uh, do that. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.